Okay, we are back. Okay, this is my old spackle. I've had for, God, since probably 2010-ish. And it turned white. Still kind of malleable, but that's not what it's supposed to look like. Here's the same one, brand new. Look at that bright pink. Perfect. Um, thing is, I wanted to buy a smaller container, but this is $9.50. The little container, one-fourth the amount was $6.50. So it, it's almost dumb. It's almost worth wasting it because I probably used, well, maybe 75% of it before it dried out. So I did save money in the long run. So that's going to get tossed. And then we're going to use this. And I go, okay, I got some water here. I got a rag. I got my little, um, let's see if I can get this readjusted. Sorry about that. Okay, we don't need to see the uh, spackle anymore. There we go. So we got my, um, from the previous section, my little bark uh, stones I want to put in, or uh, rock outcroppings. There we go, rock outcroppings. Went in there with the Dremel again and got some really good, uh, you know, variation to the uh, um, lay of the topography. Quite a great uh, big word for the day. And then we have our crater we're going to um, uh, work with. I got a glass of water over here. So I got some spatulas. Got a Q-tip or two. Got some, um, these are some crappy craft brushes you can buy at Walmart. And um, I keep a big um, collection of those. So then we can take um, my big spatula, start laying this stuff in. It's almost like uh, frosting a cake. As also, you can tell this stuff is way uh, easier to use than when it starts drying out. And then we can go back and carve this later also. So, let's just start laying in little amounts here and there and you want to fill the back side of that crater. Start kind of blending um, that road pad or land pad, wherever you want, that's uh, supporting the, the runway material into the desert. Because it'll be kind of, you know, we have storms or whatever. I'm not sure if this is going to be a desert or not. Um, I think it may be. I want to get something that's going to lay light underneath that dark color of the, that beastie brown of the jet, of the, uh, I guess the plane jet, whatever it is. It is a jet. It's got two jet engines on it. So, this will give us, then we gotta make sure we get that material. Remember, cork should never look like cork when you're uh, having it judged. But it's a nice uh, thing, uh, material to have underneath this. I should have gloves on too, but oh well. So I'm gonna get rid of that stuff and just go to a, let's do a smaller, I think get some detail going. And remember, we're going to come back with some goop. That's a, a mixture of plaster, PVA, and um, acrylic caulking to give us a really good solid uh, backing. And we can do some fill back here. So you get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to come back and show you what it's done uh, and then uh, let it dry. Thanks. Okay, we are back. I uh, got the spackling or dry decks done. It is spackling. Uh, so you can see all the pink. Basically the whole thing is coated more or less. And then we can go in with sandpaper later and uh, um, change any of the texture we want after it dries. I want to give it a nice uh, good coating. Um, actually even sculpted some of the crater already. 
just to give it that, that blast feeling, that look. And kind of added a lip to it around the whole thing. And uh, we'll go from there. And then added those two little rock outcroppings just to add interest to the base. And maybe we're going to put later on um, uh, some uh, orc plane pieces that I have upstairs. So uh, that is it. Uh, we'll see you in the next section. Thanks. Okay, we are back. Um, as you can see, uh, all that pink turned to white. I had to come back one more time and add some because you can still, still see some of the pink coming through. That's not a big deal. We're going to goop it. And I got a little piece of sandpaper just to kind of go through the edges of it and kind of, especially the ends, because this is a display piece. This is not a diorama, so the ends could be a little smoother. Kind of blend it all together, then go through here, because we're going to add sand later. And the areas we like filled in, so it gives it a nice kind of a little smooth texture to work with. We're going to add sand later. And so we go around these rocks where we might have a little too much. I have a little uh, particle mask on, so I'm not breathing all this dust. I'm gonna kind of shake that off. Right there, let's see that little rock is. I got too much of a. So I'll blend that in. That looks a little bit better. Kind of get in there a little bit more. Might have to group that up to fix it a little bit. Not a big deal. And the little crater turned out pretty nice. Just kind of, I just smoothed out those edges a little bit. Not like it's so uh, pronounced. But so far, so good. And uh, we'll come back and uh, show you where we're going from here. Thanks for joining me.